Now, some would argue with that premise that there really isn't that much of a risk of an ammonium nitrate explosion. Among those doubters, Neil Langerman. He's a chemical safety expert with a company called Advanced Chemical Safety. He works with companies to improve chemical handling practices. He says regulations have been on the books in the United States for decades, but that it's up to the businesses to enforce them. The regulation's been in place since the 70s, and um, uh, what we hear on statements like the one you just made uh, is a, really is a misconception. Uh, so the risk of a high production volume chemical like uh, ammonium nitrate, which I may well call AN, is uh, low to, to moderate. But let me point out that that risk can be mitigated if the local community did or does what the federal government and Congress has told them to do in the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act. Are there different types of nitrates? I mean, why is this one so popular with agriculture, would you say? because it is the, is the most effective. When a farmer wants to apply nitrogen to their soil, they want to apply as the highest concentration of nitrogen per pound of product that's available. So if you look at uh, urea ammonium nitrate or calcium ammonium nitrate, uh, uh, the various suggested substitutes, you lower the, the uh, fertilizer density, and it isn't as effective. Further, a chemical like urea ammonium does not mitigate significantly the risk associated with its mismanagement. Why, why so? Well, it's pretty darn reactive by itself under appropriate conditions. But when it comes to ammonium nitrate, uh, you know, you, you say it's used in agriculture, obviously it is, but, but, but it only really gets in the headlines when we see these explosions that we've seen in the past. Is, is there an issue with safe handling with it? No, and, and again, let me, your, your statement about headlines is true, but in fact, we handle millions of tons of chemicals every day in shipment and in, in processing, and you never hear about them in except in those occasions where something goes wrong. And yeah, Tianjin was a, a tragedy, uh, and, and uh, the misappropriation of ammonium nitrate uh, into explosive devices is, is tragic. But in fact, uh, the chemical industry, uh, particularly associated with high production volume chemicals, has well-developed and well-known best practices. It's up to the local business to follow those best practices. That's part of the cost of and responsibility of doing business. Now, the Chemical Safety Board wants more oversight. Are they wrong then? Oh, they're, they're, I agree with the Chemical Safety Board that Congress, in fact, should be funding more oversight. But that's public policy. That's a congressional decision, and that's way above my pay grade. All right. Well, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us from San Diego.